introducing you to software security. So this is an important topic if you're a developer because this will help you uh, prevent intruders from getting into your software and being proactive in the in terms of security. So uh, and it's really important because this can uh, this that can there are really many exploits to uh, software and software uh, is generally something that is business critical that can um, harm or that can that can lock down a company if uh, there is um, manipulated with the data so for example if they if 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 there's uh, some kind of uh, intrusion and there's uh, um, the integrity of the data is being violated and and therefore that produces perhaps a uh, different kind of data for the different uh, stakeholders in the system that will be uh, that will have a major impact, and um, and therefore uh, software security has a huge role since we are uh, living in the world of digital digitalization and and everything is becoming more and more uh, digital and have become and, and will become in the future. So this um, this is a major topic, and uh, you need to be aware of that as a developer. So when we talk about uh, software, we talk about vulnerabilities, and these are important because. That is what we need to secure. That we don't, we have, uh, if we can't live in a perfect world of zero vulnerabilities. So we need to uh, have an idea of where our uh, vulnerabilities lie, and we need to know how to prevent them, and need to how to what actions are need to perform, uh, which, which can be proactive, which can be reactive. Um, so, and um, these uh, vulnerabilities, somebody, the CVE, the common vulnerabilities uh, and exposure have uh, made an overview of these uh, vulnerabilities uh, so that we know we have an overview at least of what can be uh, possible exploits uh, or vulnerabilities that people can uh, dig into and try to stay uh, on top of when they develop the software because this perhaps is not just uh, this the, and, and, and adopt a, a best practice in securing these vulnerabilities. Um, and and uh, a, def a definition of a vulnerability. Well, that's uh, when some 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 place is uh, can be accessed. Uh, yeah, and I'm not sure about the specific definition, but you have you can find it in the CVE. So, secure development life cycle is something that we need to um, to enforce when we do the um, when we develop some some uh, system that we need to make this secure from uh, from within so like we have to we have to think the security in all the aspects of developing the system um and 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 at every stage of developing and what we also need to be aware of is that s systems can um, since they are on on computers they are exposed to these buffer overflows and um and these are they they can p um, be a huge um a huge um, problem because they will uh, potentially um, uh, overflow uh, of overflow the this the 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 CPU or the uh, so so the stack or the buffer. So therefore, this this and the, then the, the shutdown the system, and that's a huge threat for the um, for the um, for the uh, system and for the company potentially, if if the system goes down. Um, therefore, we need to. Um, we need to impl uh, have security testing in place, um, and and this is um, this is something that um, this this is hard. This is not something like uh, traditional software testing because this this can uh, this this has to this is this has to be more. Um, this is really important that this is uh, this is uh, do it done the right way in order to uh, enhance security and because the the risks of not making this secure will be uh, bigger than if you just fail a test or something is not just done but releasing software that is not uh, security tested would uh, would be uh, potentially more harmful um, and that could for example come as a SQL injection so um, when you have uh, SQL injections well these are uh, issue these are huge issues because they can be uh, they can be prevented Quite easily, when you uh, in the code um, um, write code that that will use these, when you fetch from the database, you can use these uh, prepared statements that will um, eventually prevent SQL injections from happening because they are in the code. There are uh, measures that, that that can look for if if there's a threat. 
going on on SQL injections. So, for example, if you don't implement these, and these will not be aware when you test it, but but when security testing, you will you will need to 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 have this in place. You have to need to know you know know you have to use the prepared statement. They will they are actually easier than just writing the code yourself. So so be aware of that that you can implement as much as what is already out there that is easy for you because that will be more secure eventually because that's tested. So when we talk about software security, we have to mention OWASP top 10 because uh, they are uh, they are leading in software security. They will they can they uh, uh, each year they have this report that reports top 10 vulnerabilities and they measure that that's very specific on uh, on, on 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 software uh, security. That's from cross site scripting. That's from SQL injections. That's from many different kind of sorts of vulnerabilities that can uh, that are uh, within the. Uh, software sec- security so so be aware of those because they will they will also give you very specific guidelines on what they are and tell you very explicitly uh, what 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 can um, what you can do in order to prevent them so go out and look for them if you uh, need to uh, to secure a system a software system and um, and they will uh, also they will they, they will just be very detailed about the the most common types of errors in the web applications and perhaps you'll be shocked if uh, like me a, a, a computer science student uh, uh, that, that 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 these principles are not uh, are not being maintained uh, or, or at least what what but what, what's on the top top list so um the cve well, that's a common weakness enumeration. So this is uh, a place where you also go to for finding out: uh, Do we have uh, some some common uh, uh, things that do I have to look for best practices, like in in the enumeration of uh, weaknesses in in the common system development? So, and um, so so this is um, so so when you have a local versus remote exploits, well. Um, this it's it's important that um, that you are uh, that you ensure everything as well, and what is uh, important is that uh, even though you have uh, even though this it's not uh, exploited an exploit is ex- exploited, but you ha- you still you you didn't fix a bug. Maybe you have something left when you patch something, and then there's an update, and it's it's. Um, there's something there that can be exploited, but nobody knows of it, or at least somebody didn't do anything. And that's uh, perhaps a zero-day exploit. We don't know, but but that's out there, and it, it could be potential harm to our business or organization. So, and uh, from from uh, when we talk about software security, we also need to mention these worms that can uh, that can that can come through the software, and um, and um, and we need to um, be aware of. Um, understand what they are, and they are uh, software replicating themselves around the system. So they will um, they will get in, and then they will uh, spread out to the uh, uh, by themselves um, into the system and through the software. So so through, through your software, so it will write some code into your software, and then it will uh, execute that on the computer, and then and then could move forward to another uh, unit or computer. So um, and. Um, the internet worm of uh, 1988 well that's a good example of one of uh, perhaps the most first uh, damaging worms uh, occurred so um, what we also need to know is that when we have to do deal with uh, buffer overflow which I talked about before we are uh, on the um, on the computer level the CPU level that's a C problem so um, and and these uh, these these are uh, complex uh, situations and complex to understand and uh, ways to uh, mitigate uh, these uh, buffer overflows that will occur on the lower level of the computer is um, is is uh, ins- ensuring good practices and uh, and uh, in the, in the in the uh, in the programming of the lower parts of the computer. Um, so, what you uh, need to do yeah, now we talked about. Uh, some 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 things some some general uh, exploit uh, exploits vulnerabilities and where you can find them and 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 uh, you we've got an idea of what they can be and what they can possess and how we can uh, gather information from the internet to identify uh, potential exploits in our systems 
and that we need to know uh, we need to uh, use best practices and tested software for for uh, for um, for developing our software so um so perhaps you should go to the OWASP and check out that uh, and you should uh, go out and find some more uh, information there's a lot of them out there and uh, so so go out there and and take a look at the um, the documentation that you can find for for this so thank you for watching